So good morning, everyone. Um, I hope you're all good. It is the last stand up of week six, which is great. Um, once again, congratulations on making it this far. Um, is there, are there any announcements from the team academy team? Are there any tutors? or anyone from the Teen Academy team that has any announcements to make. Hello. Okay, um, not sure. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, we do yes, hear you. Okay. okay, great. Oh, um, hi everyone. Okay, the there is a there is a tutorial this afternoon. <clears throat> okay, so I'm <clears throat> just going to do the usual system of calling out names. I'll give it a minute for anyone who would like to raise their hand after that minute i'll just go ahead as usual so if anyone wants to contribute and volunteer okay good morning martin go ahead <clears throat> okay uh, thank you for the opportunity um <clears throat> yeah so yesterday i was able to understand how the entire thing works including the back end and the front end and um, I was able to integrate uh, the endpoints that um, I'm using for the front end. Uh, that is uh, like um, uh, getting, getting, getting the NFTs and just ensuring that uh, the person who has the NFT is able to do the is able to post the amount that they want for that particular asset and the other person to bid or to opt in and then they can be able to make the transactions and all that so uh, at least i got to understand like how the flow how the flow really goes along and uh, implementing it was not quite hard after understanding it because it was uh, all i just needed to do was and get it to like have it in my mind then i could be able to implement it yeah, so um, I'm just finalizing. I want to uh, today. I want to work on uh, storing the the, the 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 assets in the Web3 storage, and then uh, yeah, I'll deploy it probably maybe before the end of the day. Yeah, so that's that's my uh, update for yesterday and uh, for today. Thank you, Martin. Uh, did they say go ahead, please? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay, from my side, uh, I actually I'm not good at uh, React and uh, another environment is. So I'm, I am trying to understand everything, the a, a, a concept of a concept of like front end and the back end and uh, <clears throat> the algorand documentation also uh, I'm looking at it. Uh, so the only problem I face is now uh, we we are uh, <clears throat> I am new at all at all of the uh, things uh, as web series uh, new and also back in the front end also new from my side. So I am reading and understanding everything to understanding level. It is good. Uh, I understand something when I read many blogs, but to the implementation level, uh, I'm not good uh, to speak frank. Still now, I am not good. Uh, I haven't uh, produced a good uh, code. So uh, I am just trying many codes, uh, preferring many sites just to implement, but uh, I'm not su successful at that end. Maybe uh, I. I need to ask the tutors and the Ten Academy team if there is a possibility to to settle on the evening or on 
on one on one time uh, on this uh, two days especially just to give us some understanding on how we do the task because uh, I, I i think i'm i'm not successful and that it is it, it is very challenging from my side so if there is a possibility to say tell one tutor just to to tell us the conceptual the core and the core problem issues of this one and how we follow maybe in a kind of flow chart uh, first you can do this one then next this and so in that manner if it is a possibility in the evening also i'm very happy and uh, uh, in, in this manner if i proceed in this manner uh, even i shy to submit on tomorrow evening so uh, i think okay. this this <clears throat> from my side uh, if there is any staff who are not uh, any, uh, who are not understanding in a good manner or so i need them okay um yababo do you have any input on that yeah i think it's a good question uh and so one of my plans for today that just just joining now is actually to be able to also ask and kind of QA at the end, just let's say in the last 30 minutes. So maybe that's that could be a start. And then we could continue after that um, for those who, who are kind of haven't seen or grasped yet the bigger picture. Okay, so everyone, if you are having the same issue as the DC, there will be a Q&A after this. Um, so please stay for that. Michael, please go ahead. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, um, Mr. Williams, I was trying to promote to my PC and I installed the, and the links. The present system and yes, yes I installed also the Docker and uh, for some reason it was not working but I just fixed it and uh, oh, now I'm, 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 I'm starting the whole task now yeah hopefully I'll finish it once uh, after the tutorial already I think I've understood uh, most of the concepts and I will read and I will see some videos and hopefully I will, I will finish the project maybe today or tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Okay, great, thank you. Um, Abel, good morning. Please share your updates with us and then Daisy has a hand. So, Abel. Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear me. Daisy, go ahead. Um, thank you, Kari. Good morning, everyone. Um, for me, I feel like I'm slacking a bit. Um, I feel like this is not how I saw the week going. Um, but at least yesterday, after trying to install Linux in vain and crashing my grab, I was able to like properly install it um, and have the sandbox running. Um, uh, so I'm um, playing catch up. I'm um, just starting out task two. Um, and just like Tade said, I mean, everything is so new, um, but I think I'm learning um, even while at it. So yeah, that's it for me. I've also been able to schedule calls with guys who have gone far ahead just to get like a bigger picture of what's expected to also reduce the time I'm going to spend trying to do research. Um, and I'm also just very grateful for the people who kept checking in to see if my sandbox was running. It's been a number of, it's been, the last three days I've been very really trying to my mental health, but I'm grateful that that is up and working. Um, thank you. Okay, um, I'm really glad that you have been getting a lot of help. Please go ahead, Yababa. No, I mean, it's, it's very interesting today, and I'm very happy the questions that I sent and Daisy. But I want to know, why didn't you ask yesterday and the day before in such a way that, because that was the whole idea 
to see if people are struggling and to, to find. I mean, it's really great, the question now, but I, I just want to understand, were you hoping yesterday that you would solve and you would understand it? You know, I, I'm just going to ask back Tadas and, and Desi, you know, what was holding you or did you ask it and we didn't hear it? I just want to understand. Um, sorry, I don't get your question. So yesterday I was actually asking people really like, please, can you tell us like if you have any question and there wasn't. And, and so I was like understanding either people have understood or, you know, so I didn't notice any hand yesterday or any kind of question like today, which is like, okay, you know, can we have like, I don't understand these things. Can we have some kind of, uh, I don't know, flow chart? What is here? What is that? And this seems to help now because for me that I understand. But yesterday I was asking and, and people were, nobody was raising hand. So I just wanted to understand why is that? That is it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yesterday, a little bit, just uh, uh, I, I were reading uh, the documents of Algorand, and uh, I I am also reading some of the blogs which uh, have impl implemented the, the project, the DApps issue on Ethereum. The first, I am thinking as I understand it, as I customize everything to this um, to my uh, to this project just by understanding that one i am hoping that one yesterday but in the evening when i, I try to investigate everything and uh, when i try to integrate everything to my git everything is not uh, goes as i think so that's why yesterday i ha i hope i have a hope to do something but uh, that's why I prefer mute. Yeah. But okay, great. I'm not okay. successful. Good. No, no, good. No, it's okay. good to know. It's just because, you know, for me, it's the part that I want to understand. You know, what are what are the causes or the reasons behind? This is a good explanation. Yesterday you hoped that things would get easy. It didn't. So you asked today. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks. That does it. And DC, from your side, what, did you also ask and? Um, or were you were you kind of like I mean still struggling on the installation a number of you, but conceptually did you at least now if everything works, do you have, you know the in your head like what is going on, and you would yes yes I do have, I do have a bigger picture. um apologies just I was not really able to join in on any of the sessions my laptop was not um working entirely. Okay. Um, but I'm waiting for the tutorials to go live on YouTube. Great. Okay. Thanks. I think there was a number of hands. I'm, I'm not sure if it's related to this or not. I will just give you Kerry and if the questions or comments are regarding this question that I asked, I would, I would uh, answer or I would uh, track. Okay. Um, thanks. Uh, Gazan, your hand is up. I think Abel's hand was up and Rafa's hand was up. So. Kazan, please go ahead and then the rest. I'd like to hear from you. We'd like to hear from you. Okay, good morning. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good morning. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, just to give you some updates about my yesterday. Uh, uh, for the interim report, I was building some, uh, using some templates to build my front end. Uh, I already have a successful. Uh, implementation of transactions on sandbox so that i was trying to build uh, my front end but yesterday Mahari it shows us uh, some new concepts regarding to the login page and the like using uh, flask so that uh, i tried uh, i tried that and uh, i was uh, just uh, on the wrong road, uh, wrong, uh, wrong road which means that uh, i was starting my front end with uh, a longest path so that when she uh, give us a clue about uh, the login page and the like. I tried to implement it and I plan, uh, I mean, I implemented it successfully. I have a successful uh, uh, login page and sign up pages for my front end. So uh, now I am trying to uh, connect 
the deployment is from the my sandbox uh, which is uh, from my github uh, the, the repository content is to my login page and i have a plan to add another uh, wallet connections to my pro, uh, front end so that is my stand for now uh, there are challenges but uh, this is just uh, they are not that much uh, critical just configurations and some issues related to uh, networks and powers uh, it is what i where i am okay thank you um abel can you speak hello hello everyone hi abel okay to, to give you an update so i was doing the backend code implementation yesterday and uh, it was somehow hard since there are not much sources on the implementation of uh, pytil for the smart contracts and uh, I, I am trying to understand the concept of uh, ethereum since there are many sources for it and then hoping to come back to the algorithm blockchain and i'm trying to figure that out today so that was my yesterday update okay thank you um rafa please go ahead so morning everyone carrie and all the team hope everyone is doing well um so it's my first stand-up session to attend all of this week six unfortunately i just had um internet cut off all of this uh, during this week because of some examinations are going in our country and that's why they are cutting the internet from um from six to nine utc but today because it's a weekend here so uh, it's not it's it's working and i'm happy that i can, finally i could uh, join uh, so i was trying to catch up uh, all of the videos in the youtube to understand what the challenges that were there and of course from slack i just got an idea it was mainly the sandbox and the operating system so for me i use windows but it work um i mean the, uh, the sandbox is running for me and i managed to generate account and to do transaction but unfortunately, yet I didn't work, uh, I didn't do the assets, and uh, I thought maybe I need to um, read more in the documentation, and I'm also because I'm trying to follow all of this uh, tutorial in the YouTube. Because also yesterday I wasn't able also to attend any of the, the front end and back end tutorial. So yeah and i also wanted to i mean the general the concept of this challenge for me i think it's uh, more or less it's about some uh, it's something that we already use in our life that the idea of transaction and all of that is just being replaced in a digital world like uh, i mean if uh, yeah, people can ensure this or not because this is how i visualize it and also i was um talking to my sister who is a banker and i told her that um later uh it's about everything will be replaced and there wouldn't be a need for a bank so if what i'm understanding about uh, the idea of blockchains and so on further is that uh, the case or not I, I haven't understood your question, Rafa, but uh, so what is what is the one that you want me to comment on? Yeah, I mean, um, the idea that uh, when the blockchain is really like um, something that's everywhere being used, like uh, I heard that and I, when I was reading that uh, there wouldn't be a need for banks, central banks and so on because this decentralization and i mean the base, basic idea of uh, the main idea of um, 
blockchain and Web3. So, so just to, to, to maybe, I mean, this is, of course, this is a future question you're asking and nobody knows what the weather would be. Mm -hmm. But like, like everything, companies will change. That means banks will change and will find service for that, right? So in a way, there will be we'll banks, be running but, that. but running that, right? So in a way, um, it's always, yeah, there, there used to be banks that, that used to use some kind of paper maybe, and then at some time they changed because the technology changed and they would, banks are also big, you know, they, they, they're, they're looking at it and some of them have their own implementation, right? So it's kind of gonna be, you know, whether it's gonna be owned, right? it's called disruptors, are there gonna be disruptors, which means, you know, kind of new companies that come with this and topple up like the big banks, they become big, like, you know, Facebook became big Google became big before that there were other like Yahoo was there. So there are kind of disruptors. And so the big banks could be small and the small banks could be big or the new type of banks could come online banks, for example, because of this technology. But at the moment, it's unknown what it's going to be like uh, in the future. Right? Okay. Right. Okay. So because the uh, other question is that um, if you are tackling this challenge because it's something that, uh, for instance, um, it's growing and um, many companies are going to invest on that, like I have to just have an idea of this, the future yeah, of this. I think that's, that's, that's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Rafa. Um, okay, Biruk, good morning. Can you please share your update with us? Okay, I'm not sure if he can hear me or speak. Uh, Henok, good morning. Okay, Hinok, can you speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I've been trying to work on the backend since yesterday night. I have gone through the documentation again in uh, Cosmos uh, tutorial. That gave me a, a clearer picture before I, I stopped at some point while watching the video and I was able to finally finish it yesterday and uh, I wrote some proper fun uh, functions for handling the asset management, like uh, creating an NFT, opting in for uh, receiving the NFT, uh, and actually uh, making the ownership transfer. I just wrote some wrappers for that. And I'm planning on working on uh, the wallet integration for the front end today. Okay, it sounds like you've made some progress. That's great. Uh, Yudidia, please go ahead and then Samuel. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. So, yesterday, I've been working mostly on the front end part. Uh, the way I was implementing the front end before was, I think, overcomplicated and didn't uh, quite get the picture of what the special admin dashboard should look like. and. Uh, so I started, I was updating that part and changing the sections of on the admin as well as the training dashboard. Uh, and I think I've come, I've progressed on that part. Uh, but still, uh, one thing that's not clear for me is when the training opts in, he should, uh, he should have the assets ID, right? So will the assets, all, all the certificates that has been minted by the admin, will be visible to all the trainees before opting in, so that yeah. when they opt in, they will also get the asset ID when yeah. uh, to the that specific asset. Exactly. I think that's correct. So we will generate the assets, of course, knowing that you have you have finished. And that's where a slightly an update for me as well is that it would be it would be the opt-in is not to check you have completed. Um, yeah. Of course, there could be other conditions, like when you opt in, but 
you must generate the first but then another one that is kind of that again as i was saying last time this is work in progress right so i am also kind of thinking and doing the details in between so the login for example when when you have just a an actual login you that can be used as a part of like what you would show right so it's like we could mint it and then the just a simple the web two type of login could act as a way of telling whether you are you have completed or not just let's say on the 10x system you would log in and then it will tell you like okay you are entitled now for to opt in and then that means already your certificate is minted and then you will have the uh, mint id and then you will just opt in so the order will be like that oh okay so you will automatically have the mint id or does it id when you just log in so to you, you would, yeah, you, you would exactly like if you, I mean, because if you are logging in, let's say in 10x, of course, there will be more. But if you, when you go to like claim certificate or something, you could check there. And then if you're, if you are ready, or that means if we are able to give you that we have already minted, then you will have the mint ID. Probably just like another web to request, you might ask like, okay, I have completed um, and please mint my uh, thing like my certificate and then we will mint and then it will be ready there and then by that time you will have the asset id and then oh. you then opt in to the asset id with the asset id and then that will be the transfer will happen okay thank you i think you. as i said uh it is work in progress so just don't think that we know everything and we solved everything and we asked you it was also just partly um working together so it's that's why questions like that would help um, and to clarify for everyone as well okay thank you that's all from my side okay uh samuel please go ahead okay hello kerry hello everyone can is my mic uh, terrible yes hello okay uh for to give an update uh for me it's not going very well uh the sandbox made a lot of issues so i had to change my os and after changing my os still other functionalities wasn't working uh but everything is fixed now and uh, even though it's late out i'm trying to cope up and uh, do as many tasks as i can that's an update from okay um thank you for sharing i think that uh Yababal, do you have any input on that and also in the messages Biruk is okay i was typing and i think <laughs> it's very important and exactly the same element that i was saying this is you some people already have an, uh, an advantage in a way that they know let's say front end or at least they know how to be how to use multiple languages including react which is easy or javascript which is easy to to use for front end they probably have developed but that's diversity and diversity you can see it as kind of okay like i'm much more beating up yourself or you can see it as like okay i'm gonna learn from it because next time i will have that advantage right when, when there is another web3 project or when there is like a project that requires front end and back end and multiple languages mixed most of the time as you go on you will see you will require multiple languages for one or for the other including batch script for example to manage some infrastructures query things and many other things right so this you can see it as an opportunity to learn even if you might not be you might not do the best thing you want to do but it's just a one step right so the whole point is for me you kind of go through learn from the community and get become better than you started from and did you know like kind of surprised yourself like successful in one thing that you haven't thought you would do. That is the best teacher for you. Like, it's like you being successful, seeing yourself doing what you thought you wouldn't do is, is the really the best teacher for me. Like nobody can teach you better than yourself. And that is only to, you know, a successful part of you. Like if you think of 
in a future where you will be successful doing whatever you want. For example, if you want to be rich, if you see yourself being rich, like if you meet that person and you talk to them, uh, you talk to him or you talk to her, they will tell you exactly the best lesson in your life. The reason? Because it's you. They know you. And, and therefore, I always say, it's the success. Your success is your best teacher. So it's for us is trying to push you and therefore doing what you cannot, what you couldn't do before. If you have done this quick, you know, that's really amazing. And just give it the best, but don't think of it as much, okay, completing only the project in a certain way. And it's the way that specified is all you have to do. And if not, then you failed. I think that kind of approach might not work because of the diversity, as I said. Hopefully that is um, kind of addresses some, some general issues. I think let me stop there. And then I think there are some hands. I can continue. Well, I just wanted to come in there, uh, Musa here. So uh, this is on Go. Windows. Um, and yesterday after, I think it was yesterday after stand up, uh, we had a, a chat um, so we could debug his issues um, via Google Meet and we were successful. So he didn't have to use Hyper-V or switch the operating system. Uh, so I've actually posted uh, the solution on the week, uh, week six channel. Uh, so if people could look at that and, and try it out, I think it should work for everyone. Uh, it's, a much, it's a much simpler solution than going to Ubuntu or even using Hyper-V. So if people are still struggling with the sandbox, if they could take a look at, at my, uh, my post there. Yeah, but for those ones who went to transform to Ubuntu, congratulations and don't go back. Okay, um, everyone heard from Musa, there is a solution in the week six channel. So head over there and utilize those resources. And thank you, Musa and Yababal. Um, Tesfaye. Good morning. Please okay. Good us. morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Good morning. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Uh, so uh, my update for uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, currently, I'm I am uh, changing my uh, PC. Like I'm changing. I'm using my third PC uh, uh, for this week because I'm, I'm, uh, I am give uh, my last PC for someone and uh, I'm installing Ubuntu again for the new PC, which I'm going to use for the rest of uh, the challenge, actually. So this will be my permanent uh, PC. Uh, on the uh, challenge itself, uh, on the concepts part, uh, yesterday was uh, actually a great day. I had discussion with uh, uh, a colleague also so to discuss if I if I missed anything on the challenge part. So we, we discussed that and uh, we came up with uh, some ideas about the challenge. And uh, uh, last night I came up with a lot of ideas like uh, user uh, management. You now we, sh we should lo log in using uh, email, uh, username and uh, password, not with wallet, because uh, I think those wallets uh, require like uh, uh, genuine um, wallet location like uh, a real one a real world one but for our sandbox we should use a normal web to uh, username and password and uh, store the account or the wallet of uh, the, the trainee on that uh, uh, user so that when he logs in we know who uh, logged in and we can uh, bring any information uh, regarding that person so i was planning on uh, doing that and uh, Yesterday, uh, Yababel was saying uh, about saying something about the asset management, the uh, ASA for Algorand. So I saw uh, on that too, and uh, the opt-in actually needs the asset ID. So uh, uh, like uh, I think uh, Henok asked the same question uh, earlier. I, I don't know, but uh, uh, Yababel was saying that uh, the trainee needs to ask for the to uh, ask the staff to submit the NFT so that he can uh, opt in. So he has to he have to do that, I saw that. So I was going to ask that, but yeah, Yababel uh, already uh, answered that, so that's good. And that shows me that where I am and uh, I'm, I'm going in a good direction. I think uh, it is uh, really good. But uh, on the uh, code part, I am lagging a little bit. I have uh, been able to uh, um, uh, 
contact uh, connect with the sandbox and uh, just generating the new accounts is having a problem but it's a, it's a code problem it's, it's, it's easy and it could be fixed so, uh, so yeah that's my progress for yesterday Thank you, this way. I'm really glad. I think everyone at the Ten Academy team is glad that you've made progress. Um, Hikma, good morning. If you can speak, please update us and let us know if you have any challenges that you that we can help you with. Okay, I'm not sure if Hikma can speak. Uh, Matilda, good morning. Can you please update us? Hello, good morning. I hope you guys are well. Um, so for my progress, I I didn't make much progress yesterday. I had um um I I I had gone. I just went through some materials on front end and back end and just to understand the algorithm better. But I didn't actually make any progress in regards to coding. So um, this morning I met one of um, one of the colleagues, I met Hidida, and he helped me go through the challenge, understand it better, understand um, how algorithm works and everything. And yeah, I, I, I now have a better understanding of it and I'm hoping that I will I'll be able to do a huge chunk of the project today. So yeah, that's my progress. Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, Malako, good morning. If you can speak, please update us. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Okay, so uh, to give an update, uh, uh so uh, the sandbox was really uh, not working for me so i have decided to work on the front end part and finish finalize that then uh, i'm planning to worry about the sandbox because the sandbox is uh, taking me a lot of time so i have i have planned to finalize the front end part then worry about the sandbox uh, uh, on the remaining time. So that's my progress. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Miron, good morning. If you can speak, please update us and tell us if you have any challenges that we can help you with. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, so yesterday uh, I, I was not able to do much of the coding and uh, tackle most of the challenges because I have been trying to set up my PC and installing everything from the start sort of took a lot of time than I expected. I was also facing some power outage but I tried to relocate, go to my friend's house and just try to uh, finish setting everything up and I've also been working with some of my friends on Slack while who was going through the same process as I was. And so I can say that I've finished setting up my PC completely and I am about I'm running the sandbox. Hopefully it will work accordingly. So and in the meanwhile I've also been reading and just trying to understand what's what I'm supposed to do next. So hopefully I'll be able to do much more today than yesterday when it comes to the development, the coding part. So that's it. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Uh, Nahum, if you can speak, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name incorrectly, but if you can speak, please update us. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, my yesterday's progress isn't that well. So I'm having difficulties implementing the ideas since I'm very much used to the Web2 architecture. And I was wondering if it would be possible to catch up on a call later on. 
you know, now that's really the two things that I would like to discuss now, and it's really a very well, just in a very short manner, you described it. It's the architecture. I also, sometimes you just need to understand them. And, and it's this, it's really good that you articulate it that way. And definitely that's the one that I'm, I'm hoping to at least explain, or at least, you know, provide some answer to some questions. Um, but yeah, please ask in exactly that format, you know, what kind of in the architecture means like for some people who probably this is cryptic, you know, in web two, you can just basically post and get, um, and you basically do everything with, uh, easily without worrying about how much data or how you're going to ensure in the distributed system, a lot of it is very, it's like designing a circuit. So if you have, if you know a little bit about circuit, it's really, you know, how your CPU is implemented. It's through a very similar process. You can't, the number of basically memory units that you will have in a, in a CPU that is closed and you can access is not the same as the big disk that you hire, that you store your data and how you process it is very, you know, that's ingenious as well. And here we are doing the other one in open basically as internet and that's really that architecture that sometimes will make life a little bit easy but also a little bit difficult but when you understand it it is also just innovation a new type of innovation which you are most likely are good at in any way so yeah no we'll we'll have a brief challenge chat or we'll, we'll have a brief conversation around that but thanks for the question yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, Stella, good morning. If you can speak, please update us on your progress. Okay, good morning. I hope that you can hear me. Yeah, can hear you. Okay, so uh, yesterday I was not able to do um, much. I was not feeling well. Still not feeling good but i'm trying my best to at least make sure that i've uh, done some tasks by tomorrow and <clears throat> uh, i'm struggling with um most of the new tasks that i'm doing i haven't done front end before or back end some are uh, pulling up some tutorials and i'm just trying to do my best yeah, so my sandbox is still working. Um, so I'm just trying to work on the front end and back end today and incorporate the PyTool and I finish up by tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And I hope you are feeling better soon. Um, the Wodros, good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I've been working on the back end yesterday. Uh, there are a few things that are still remaining. Uh, so I'll be working on that. And uh, hopefully I'll get started on the front end uh, later today in the afternoon. So, so far there are no blockers, but uh, yeah, that's my update. Okay, thank you. Um, Titus, please go ahead and update us. Okay, uh, thank you for the opportunity. Are you able to hear me? Yes. Okay, so um, yesterday I'm glad that I started out the issue with my sandbox. Thanks to Musa, we worked things out in the end and uh, it all worked out. So I was able to basically complete task one, but in the evening I didn't have power. So it was a little bit tricky. So in the morning, I was just trying to go around and uh, just look on, on how I implement the front end and the back end. So I'm still trying to figure out which, uh, which uh, technology I should use. So just uh, maybe a question I've had uh, that many of us uh, maybe are using uh, React JS and uh, for the front end. And yeah, so uh, from the documentation, I saw that um, there's uh, this Python admin UI. I don't know, I haven't looked into it so much. And uh, Flask for the backend. So 
Okay, just a question. If if because I haven't really worked with uh, with uh, React JS, I've never worked with it at all. So um, yeah, and because of time, because the submission is due tomorrow, most of it. So I don't know. Um, yeah, I have I have experience with Flask. So yeah, that one I can I can implement with the Flask the backend. So about the front end, I don't know if anybody has used the admin UI, the one that's in the in the in the documentation in the challenge documents, one of the documents. So yeah, if it's a good uh, approach for me to work uh, on the front end. So just, that's just a question. Uh, yeah, but basically today I'll be doing more of the back end and the front end. So yeah. Um. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. It is, it's, you, I mean, we also said you could use even Streamlit, right? As long as you have in the back end and for the UIs just that you want to give, you know, you can accept um, inputs from users using even Streamlit. So I think we, you know, we made it very specific, like we made it very clear, use anything that is at your, uh, you know, like kind of what is available to you. But of course, always just uh, some things, uh, an opportunity to start learning also other different languages. But if it, you know, if it's so different and you, you don't want to spend time, and especially now that if you are asking now, definitely use something that you are comfortable with. And there are, Streamlit can actually can incorporate some form of um, React components as well as JavaScript in it and you can even connect with with that maybe um with your wallet so i haven't tried it and i mean i haven't checked references but there should be probably references that already you could you could check so i think for us it's important so for example uh, most of the the people who grade they don't know node.js for example uh, nardos was asking but if you find it easy at the moment for example node.js still check it but in the screenshots and the stuff, make sure that you you know you, you give us a good view of like what you manage to do. Uh, sometimes we we may not have the the kind of the resource to check the detail of your code. But other than that, I think it's all should be good. You know, it's just the whole point is think the framework as it is, and this one this project is really go as fast as as far as you can, and then um, yeah, in the next one especially get prepared. No that you can't skip different types of computation like you know in the future you will also have to just think about doing things in parallel like you know and multi-processing you have to do um kind of you know gpu competing you already have seen and you have to think of distributed systems like now so it's always an opportunity and you know it, it doesn't stop here it's like you'll always just encounter something new that you haven't worked before oh okay uh, thank you Okay, um, I think everyone has spoken who is here. Yababal, will you be doing yeah. the session now on this? Okay. Yeah, I will just do it in here. So probably just if we can stop the recording for that one and start recording, that would be great. Okay. So, Teen Academy team has left the call. Um, we can join actually if I want to. Um, unless, is, is there anyone or not? Is no Teen Academy already signed in? Okay, so I have to. Okay, no, I can't actually. So we have to tell. I can't. I can't. Let me just log in in a few. Yeah.
Okay, above all, um, over to you. I think the recording will st stop now. Stop now.